<laughs> Next was awesome. <laughs> that was actually one of the greatest websites of all time. Gosh, I used to like queue up 25 songs to download on Napster and just like leave for hours, come back. Well, well yeah, it would take you like six hours to download one song, 56K. And then like people started learning how to put viruses in the torrent. <laughs> just like annihilate your computer. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't use LimeWire. <laughs> uh, hello. Welcome to Louisville's Best Podcast. A podcast where we talk about some of the best topics that we can find. <laughs> that we can think of. That, of that, Louisville's Best Podcast. Of topics. Louisville's Best. Of, of Best <laughs> The topics. best is of Louisville. <laughs> the podcast is a little shorthanded tonight. Brian is in Sunny Beaches somewhere. And he's in Myrtle Beach. Yep. And uh, Beach. Aaron is among the stars. The with, Redneck Riviera. Is that where Brian went? <laughs> the Redneck Riviera. Where's Darren? Uh, Darren uh, did not call back in this week. Uh, every time I call it, I got a, a dead dial tone or <laughs> something like that. It's awful. Yeah. So I'm not sure what's going on with Darren, but thanks for joining the show. Real quick around the room. How's everybody doing? John, Space Force. Pew, pew, pew. What's yeah. Up? I wore this. I got my nice Space Force shirt on tonight. Yeah. It's... it's it's not a political commentary. It just I happen to like it because it said pew, pew, pew at the bottom exactly. of it. Exactly. So. How are you, buddy? Oh, I'm doing great. How was, was your week? Anything crazy? Oh, no, not real bad. It was We're on fall break this week going into next Tuesday. So, you know, it's it's the teacher's life. It's it's what we do. Um, Is that like the Pirate's Life song? Yo, ho, ho, teacher's life for me or something? It can get that way. Yeah, I will, I will give you that. Yeah. Um, big thing we had happen this week is somebody went in and stanked up the boys' bathroom, and they all pulled their... Uh, polo shirts up over their nose and proceeded to run in there and sniff it as hard as they could just to make sure that somebody had pooed it up. That's gross. <laughs> that's that's the life, man. I mean, that's that's what middle schoolers do. <laughs> it's like, it stinks. And they all grabbed their shirts and threw them what up over their smell? faces oh. and went running in there. We're funny. like, ah, just let them go. They'll, they'll figure it out here in a second. Go. Yeah, it was fun. Charlie, how are you, sir? Great. How are you, Tim? Good. <clears throat> Tell me one event from this week, just one, anything. Could be a sandwich you ate. Could be a car chase you saw. Much like Joey Gerbiani, my favorite food is sandwiches. <laughs> uh, I had a good sandwich today. Did what, you? What'd you? Oh, oh man, Carlos told me earlier. Yeah. It was amazing. They uh, We went to um, this place in downtown Louisville um, today because we didn't have anything better to do than to go to go downtown and walk around Main <laughs> Street. I don't know what, why, what possessed us to do that. Put but on Main Street. We went to this place called the Porch uh, Bar, and, uh, Bar and Grill down on um, West Jefferson Street today. And they had this um, uh, pulled pork sandwich in there that was absolutely amazing. I, 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 didn't, I didn't really know what I was getting into, but it was a cheddar and pork. And it was like a barbecue sauce, but the barbecue sauce was on the side, so it wasn't too over heavy. It was kind of a mm-hmm. dipping sauce. It had cheddar cheese on it and uh, toasted, and I ate half of that. And then me and Carla, she gave me part of her, what they call a PIG, which was basically a, a Cuban sandwich uh, by another name. Yeah. It had a piece of it had a piece of bacon on it that was like, a, a, it felt like it was about a quarter inch thick. It was, I mean, like, it was, a, it was like a piglet. It was amazing. Full yes. Piglet. And it, had, it, had, it was bacon on top of a pork chop. Nice. So, nice. yeah, that was it was good. It was, it was very good. All right. Susie had macaroni. <laughs> Of course. And it had peas on it. I, I uh I had a tooth pulled this week. Woo! It was exciting. Uh can't wait to never do that again. So it's great. Learning to uh eat with one less molar has been a joy. What did you like bite this? I'm like, ow, 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 um, ow. it's been a it's been a, a pain for a couple years now. Oh, um, you had one of those too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I did that back last summer. I I had this one in the front that that it would come and go when you yeah. put like get some coat on it, yeah. and then one day I woke up and it was just there was no going away. I mean, it just yeah. it just throbbing. And I went in there like, well, well, you need a root canal because it's it's got a cavity up in the roots. And, it's, and I was, like, <sighs> I already had a. Root I didn't pull canal it, on but it. yeah, but I had to have a root canal done. So yeah, uh, my fear is though that by pulling this one, they actually didn't solve the problem, and it's the other <laughs> tooth. So soon I'll just have no teeth on one side. I don't know. So that's what I'm going for. <laughs> you're like, huh? yeah, exactly. Oh, your soup will run all over the side of your shirt. Oh, uh, well, it is the spooky season. We've entered October. Uh, so our next couple of podcasts, we're going to have some uh, spooky themes, spooky, scary stuff. 
Uh, I am so psyched about John, the next four weeks. John has been like painting his face every night, different scary uh, masks. It's been crazy. He's been scaring all his family members, running around the neighborhood. Cops called on him a couple of times. <laughs> He's, he is in the Halloween season. But before we do that, last week we discussed our favorite sitcoms, and we did get a voicemail, an angry voicemail about a sitcom we left off. Yeah, and I don't think this is the actual guy. This this doesn't sound anything. I think it's somebody trying to pull our leg. Oh, you don't think it's I don't really actually think it's, him? I don't think it's Jerry. Okay. I, I just don't think it is. But I mean, it uh, sounds let me, so let me, much let like me, him. Yeah, it, well, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> let me play it, and I'll let you. Y'all can decide. What's the deal with you not mentioning my show last week? Am I not the greatest sitcom ever? It's a travesty! <laughs> Your podcast is the worst I've ever listened to, and I've listened to the Five Live Bears! <laughs> I know, bad podcast, and yours is the worst! What is this bizarro world? <laughs> is that an airplane? And what's the, the deal with bad impersonations? <laughs> All right, I'm out. There you go. As always, you can uh, reach us on the Anchor app and leave us a lovely voicemail, much like maybe Jerry Seinfeld. We would Jeff love, did. we would love for people to call in and leave more spoof messages. I mean, that would be mm-hmm. that would be worth our time. I mean, it doesn't have to be like a real message; just something spoofy. We've got several people that have done that, and like I said, I don't think that's the real Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, it might be. I, I don't. I don't. Really His think voice it has is. changed as he's gotten older. <laughs> but uh, so tonight for our, our first first scary. Spooky podcast. Uh, the Joker is out tonight, today, October fourth. The Martin Scorsese film starring Joaquin Phoenix. Um, how'd you say that? I don't think Scorsese directed that, bud. He didn't. He didn't direct it. It's oh. it's it's a it's a Scorsese inspired movie. Oh. We're, we're gonna need to just stop. <laughs> maybe <clears throat> maybe we sent the wrong person to Area Fifty One. <laughs> My bad, guys. I thought it was really. It's Scorsese inspired. Oh, it's a ripoff of Taxi Driver. My bad, then. I thought I. I'm just kidding with you, Tim. Don't get upset. No, I, I, I legitimately thought it was Scorsese. So, my bad. It's Todd, I think, it's I think Phillips. originally, I think originally he had been talked about the possibility of being a producer on it at one point. But I don't, I don't know if that actually went through or not. About three years ago, he stated he wouldn't make a Joker film starring uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh my gosh, which guys, would have been absolutely I am so sorry. Amazing. Uh, it's Todd Phillips yeah. from the director of Road Trip, Old mm-hmm. School, Starskin Hutch, Hangover, Due Date. Man, my bad. Sorry about that. So, cool? No, that's, that's no big deal. Not Martin Scorsese. It is Todd Phillips, the Joker, starring Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, but uh, lots of different opinions on it. Uh, anybody planning on seeing it? When it comes out on... Um, when it comes out on streaming and I can watch it in the basement, in the safety of my own basement, I mean, I will. I'll watch it then. I might go Sunday. Not that I really think anything's ever going to happen. I think some of that is hype. It, they, they, oh, sure. Uh, Hollywood always has, and this isn't generally what we talk about on here, but Hollywood always has this way of a sick, they got this sick hype machine that they always throw out there. So I think a lot of that is just hype for it and, and just, oh, it's got to be edgy in every way possible. I mean that's my opinion. Y'all might have a different one on it, but I think that it's it's hype from. I don't think it's the. I mean, it could be a total false flag from the direct, from the studio, but I think it's more of a, of a, these incel nitwits trying to be like oh, you'd be cool. You'd do that. Those guys can't talk to women in person, let alone go shoot up a movie theater. I think it's just internet chatter from. I forgot, I forgot this was a family friendly podcast. <laughs> yes, from the trolls, or not even trolls, just from the the weak willed and uh, l- lily livered that are <laughs> keyboard warriors and can say these things and make horrible, horrible accusations and think that they're justified in doing so because no girl walked up to him and said, "Let's hey, let's have sex today." The, the, in, the whole incel movement just boils my blood. The fact that they're the ones trying to hijack this movie just because it's a white dude character and now we get to hear through about, all oh, there's going to be shootings. No, there's idiots saying stuff on the internet, well, as the, always. Yeah, and we live in such an overly sensitive world nowadays, too. Everybody's got to have a... Everybody's got to have a trauma. <laughs> it's just... 
Everybody has to have one nowadays. So, yeah, I'm not going to see it. I'll see it when it comes out on, in theater. Number one, because I just simply am going to stick with my ban of DC movies until they put out something decent. So if I watch this and it's decent, I may go back and see something else. Because I know Birds of Prey is coming out, and that's this is probably going to be just kind of a half a movie to that. I'm sure that that's going to be a far better movie than the Joker <laughs> that they're putting out now. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to see it. I think it looks good. I think Joaquin pulls off a pretty creepy looking. I don't mean like creepy, like like frightening, but just somebody that legitimately is tumbling down the the rabbit hole of insanity at some point. He's always so. been able to pull stuff like that off. I mean, yeah. even back in the day, I even liked him way back in the day when he was in uh, Gladiator with uh, yeah. Russell Crowe. Yeah. That was that was a good movie. Um, he's always been intense. Everything he does is intense. Right. He's going to be good at it. I mean, me and you were talking about it upstairs earlier, and it's, it's, I'm not an anti the movie. I, I think it's going to be good. I'm not scared to see it because he's turned into Joker. I'm a huge Batman fan. I just want the right uh, depiction of the character to come out, which is something we've never had. If you can mesh all the depictions together, minus the um, one in Suicide Squad, you might have the right Joker. I mean, you're talking about Jack Nicholson. Yeah, uh, the Charlie's ever. Big fanboy of Heath Ledger's. <laughs> Mark Hamill is the best Joker. And he Mark is, Hamill. Is great. You put all three of them together and you might have something worth seeing. But so anyway. we 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 wanted to go off that a little bit and we, we saw an article. John had found it uh, about a month or so ago about a man named Wrinkles the Clown, the real life Pennywise who scares kids into behaving. Uh, the story starts like this in southern Florida as every weird story starts out in Florida. In 2014, a couple of fed-up parents in southern Florida paid Wrinkles the Clown to hide under their unruly daughter's bed. Wrinkles was to scare her that so she could spend the rest of her young life threatening to, or they could spend the rest of her <laughs> young life threatening to bring him back if she ever put another toe out of line. Uh, the story goes on to show that they did that, and that has since helped straighten her out, and that Wrinkles the Clown actually gets several offers now, and he will come to different locations dressed as a clown to scare people. Um, I, I for one, think that that's frightening for a family to do that to their kid. But uh, clowns in general can be scary. John has expressed time and time again that he is not a fan of clowns. Um, and Brian also not a, not a fan of clowns, as we definitely found out while watching the first chapter of It, the, the, new, <laughs> the new remake down here. Um, so we thought we would take a few minutes and talk about some, some clowns that has shown up either uh, in media or movie, books, whatever, and you feel is the creepiest, the best version of the creepy clown. I do have a weird clown story before we can go Okay, on. a weird clown story, weird, John. Weird clown story. I Now this, I, I don't even know, since we're talking about this stuff and we're in Halloween, I think it's, it could also go with any of scary clowns. Um, uh, last year, we were down in the country, and we were leaving Morgantown, which is the town where our farm, or the farm is close to. And as we were coming down the road near 79, there's a house, and it had all this stuff on the front, and there was a clown standing in the front yard. And I, I, we just blew, I was like, oh, it's a clown. I thought it was like a mannequin. It had to be a mannequin a clown. So we went home. The next day, we come back, and we went by that same place. I was like, I'm going to see that again, and it wasn't there. I could not find that to save my life, which house it was at. And there was no, there was no clowns standing in yards or anything. So apparently somebody <laughs> sitting out there in the middle of the day in a clown outfit. <laughs> I mean, I was like, Whoa. I thought you were going to be like, we stopped, slow down, look for the clown. He wasn't there. And all of a sudden he was at the window. No, because my father-in-law would have shot him. <laughs> it would have been one less Morgantown clown out there. To, no, it wasn't like that. But it was just weird. It was one of them weird experiences that you have. Yeah. As, as, have either of y'all ever had a weird clown like experience like that or, or anything? I haven't. Clowns don't really scare me, but I've never really ran into some like a creepy clown in general. No. Um, so so nothing, no no real bad clown experiences here. See, now I think like it's standing on the street corner, like if you're out at night going home. Oh. And you're on Dixie Highway and there's one standing with a balloon and he's all waving at people. That would be, that would be out the door crazy. I think that would be, that would be it for me. I, I would just, there's no way. Sure. Like the, I could for, not handle it. For a while there, they were popping up on corners and stuff, yeah. like holding balloons, waving and people like, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't, if I saw that, I'd probably <laughs> have a fear of clowns if that happened to me. I mean, the the best was like when people started like chasing them down. <laughs> oh yeah. It suddenly stopped. <laughs> yeah, it got, got real, real quick. Yeah. 
Um, but I guess kind of like talking about some creepy clowns in media um, or something like that. There was the movie from the late 1980s, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which is kind of a dark comedy-esque horror film. Um, I, I remember watching that a little bit when I was younger, and, and the clowns are pretty creepy in that they could basically they turn into monsters. It was a very... Uh, it was very like early day, like what a sci-fi movie, sci- sci-fi channel movie would be nowadays. I feel like the killer clowns from outer space. It was one of those movies that you would find at the video store when nothing was left <laughs> but that. Yeah. And he was like, all right, let's rent that. And then you'd be terrified for the rest of the evening. Your, your mom would pop it in and it'd be like, what? Cause my mom was always a big horror movie person. She made me and my cousins watch a movie called devil dog, the hound from hell one time. So this would not be above her to set us all down right. in front and say, watch this movie. And then it would just be totally freaked out for the rest of the night. I mean, that's the way it was. I, I can remember that. I, I, looking back on it now, I've seen like um, uh, footage from it or clips from it and stuff. It's like it's completely ridiculous because mm-hmm. it they had that 1980s. Um, Almost claymation. Yeah, looking. that claymation look. A lot yeah. of stuff was made in the 80s. Those cheaper movies that had that style to it. And it, yeah. it, it, it's it's fun now. But back then, that would have been absolutely terrifying. I, I think that would have been. you saw that one, right? No, I haven't. You haven't seen that one? I, okay. You would think that I would, but I've not. I mean, I've seen bits and pieces, but not the entirety. Okay, I, I don't know. What about you, Charlie? Any uh, creepy clowns stand out to you uh, over media history or cinema or anything like that? Well, I miss Aaron for this one specifically. Batman the Animated Series. There's yeah. an episode where the Joker has a robot ca- clown. He calls Captain Clown, who's I feel like piloting his barge. That. And since there's, he can't say anything, of course, he's a robot. It's just very disturbing. Even, you know, it was the Batman the Animated Series. It was still kind of comical, but it was very, very just off putting. Yeah. Um, I'm looking up. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a picture of it. Is that it right there? Yeah. That, yeah. That's a clown, yeah. He, he, you're right. He was just very like a stoic looking figure and it's just creepy. Batman the Animated Series did a great job of of being a creepy cartoon at times. Uh, probably really one of the best done cartoons in during that time period. Uh, what about you, John? Well, being that I have absolutely my entire life been in some way, shape, or form terrified of clowns, I, um, I could just go through just experience after experience. It seems like when I was a kid, you go to the Jefferson Mall, and they always had clowns there walking around, handing out balloons and stuff, and I was absolutely terrified of it. But the thing that really, the one thing that really turned me off to any type of clown stuff for years was the uh, Tim Curry Pennywise in uh, the television uh, miniseries It back in the uh, late 90s or mid-90s or whatever that came out, 93, 94, whatever it was. I was like, I'm going to sit and watch. It's going to be amazing. And I got all the way to the scene where he kills Georgie in the um, very first sewer scene, those teeth. And I was like, nope. And I never watched it again, not until like the um, the remake of the movie came out two years ago. Me and Susie sat down here, and I had her watch the old It with me before we watched, excuse me, what before we watched the new one. And it does not hold up well, but yeah, that was the most terrifying clown in media to me for years. I could not watch anything with him in it. Any type of clip they had of that uh, Pennywise just drove me insane. I was like hiding. I was like Brian that night down here. First time I'd ever heard Brian say a cuss word was when we were watching it. <laughs> He's like, Blood, no. <laughs> I thought he was going to hide behind the couch the rest of the time. That, uh, I, you know, he's he's just such a classic horror-looking image, you know. Uh, not just for clowns but just in general it's one of the ones that stands out and uh tim curry really brought that to life and then skarsgård and the new ones has done a great job with it as well he um it's entirely different though i mean the two uh, uh, curry course played it more i don't want to say jovial but it, it, it he's not as he's not as dark as skarsgård is in it i mean it's it's not the same of course it's just you can't compare it. the two are the Skarsgård does a good job of, of of kind of showing the roots of the character by by giving some shout outs to Tim Curry and some things he says and some things he does. But at the same time, the new one just to me is it's it's a really good one. But as far as being absolutely terrifying, at this point, unlike when the original It came out, this one has been put into pop culture so much that he's almost an anti hero to people. 
Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's almost like cheered when he shows up. On yeah. It's like, oh, it's co- so cool. But that's the dark society that we live in nowadays. I mean, people just do that. Mm-hmm. And not to say that I'm not the same way. I think he's, I think he looks great. I think it's a great character, but, I mean, you know, he's a child killer. I mean, that's what he does. So, I mean, how much can you should you really emulate that? Sure. <laughs> with sure. with plushies. Is I mean, come guy? on, <laughs> with plushies. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean Freddy Krueger. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. same I mean, thing. There's I mean. lots of <clears throat> disturbing characters. Well, never mind. I was going to go on a on a rant about conspiracies, but we'll stop right there. <laughs> oh, we can do best conspiracies at some point here in the in the future as well. So here's here's the big question because Tim says he's not scared scared of them. I'm I'm absolutely terrified of them. I don't know where you fall into the category with clowns. But uh, well, why- here's the thing. Um, I will get into that the next podcast. Oh, okay. Because that's okay. my whole crux, the reason I came up with the topic for the next podcast. So, okay. So I'm being kind of quiet because I don't want to not have anything to say next week. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, then I'll ask Tim, because I mean, in the case, like because we really need Brian here to kind of balance my <laughs> point on it as well, because he feels the same way. He, like... I'm I'm terrified and run the other way. Brian is more along the lines I think of like throat punch the clown. I mean that's kind of sure. what Brian would do it. Um, but for me, the thing about it is it's just I don't know. There's something otherworldly not, about it. It's not that I, I like a clown couldn't scare me. I've just never had that experience where a clown has has frightened me and scarred me. Like I I'm pretty sure like if I'm walking to my car after the podcast tonight and somebody came running out from. <laughs> out of the the marsh out there across from you in a clown suit, I, I would probably pee myself or in some manner or fashion or you, or something, like some bodily fluid, puking or whatever. You better hope he doesn't have big floppy shoes that would slow him down, though, because it would be on. I mean, it's yeah. totally on. So, so like, I, I'm sure a clown could frighten me. I just haven't experienced that yet. I think my thing about it is it's just it's out of the norm. I'm, I'm somebody who likes normalcy. I like some I don't like things to be out of out of touch with what the reality is that I'm around. And uh, that's that's weird. I always found the most disturbing scenes in it is when it's kind of doing like that camera pan and everybody's normal, everybody's normal. Pennywise, everybody's normal, everybody's normal, everybody's <laughs> yeah. normal. Like you said, so it just kind of it, it's out of the ordinary and stands out and it's 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 different. Well, and that's and that's like in that it. I mean, going back to because since mm-hmm. he is the since he is the one that I, I root most of my fear of clowns in mm-hmm. is they don't do a lot of this in the new movies, but in the old one, it, it was stuff like what you're talking about, where like they're in the library and there's people all around and they look up and he's sitting there reading a newspaper and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then all of a sudden he's gone, yeah, and that type of stuff <laughs> yeah. would just oh my goodness, I couldn't imagine. I think that. that I think that's a great play on on the human mind, where if you see something out of the ordinary, it can frighten you, even if it's not scary. Like you know, it, it like if you just saw a clown, you're like, eh, you know. But if you see a clown where you're not supposed to see a clown, like it 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 messes with the psyche. Well, I, think. I, I listened to a podcast, and the guy on there had one of the probably the best analogies of it that that mm-hmm. he that you could have. He said that seeing a clown at the circus is okay. Seeing a clown on the street corner at night is terrifying because he's out of his element. Yeah. Yeah. That, and I think that's the thing with me is, is it's like, okay, you, it's, it's not within the acceptable norms of society where this thing is at. Right. Like, right. A birthday party, you got a clown. I don't understand why people would have clowns at their birthday parties. That's just, <laughs> that's just totally out there for me. Sure. I would hate that. I would not even go to the party. Yeah. Um, uh, but, no, no, that's but insane. having one standing on the street corner of Dixie Highway in front of the White Castles, not that he would survive <laughs> long at the Di- <laughs> Dixie Highway White, White Castles, Castle. yeah. especially at 3 o'clock in the morning. Look at this clown. <laughs> <laughs> actual, actual quote from Dixie Highway. <laughs> Look at this clown. It'd be like a, it would be like the, if you've seen the trailer of uh, Joker where they take the sandwich board and hit him with it. <laughs> Hope you can run fast them big shoes, clown. <laughs> Well, that's the podcast. You got, you got any weed, clown? Uh, we'd love to know your thoughts Been on Been using math for 14 days straight, clown. You look, you look tasty. Wow. And you smell like in White Castle you've been standing in front of. Oh, you can catch us anywhere, basically, nowadays. White Castle. Or White Castle. <laughs> iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Play. Facebook, I don't know. <laughs> wherever you find your podcast, just look. Literally, we're there. Yeah, yeah, we're everywhere. We're there, begging. Please listen to us. 
as always. Sorry, Brent. What you do, girl? <laughs>